Hi, this is Arslan. I'm back again with a new project on modeling degradation or corrosion for magnesium scaffold in a simulated body fluid. So, what are these magnesium scaffold? So, these magnesium scaffold are basically biodegradable structure used in bone repair and regeneration. They mimic the original bone mechanical properties, eventually got dissolved in the body and promote bone growth. This bone growth is done using their, uh, the, the, uh, this due to the porous structure of these scaffolds and, the, and eventually they release biologi biological benefit, beneficial magnesium ion inside this simulated body fluid. So for this type of structure, for this type of simulation, we have used three different type of, uh, three different uh, shape of magnesium scaffolds. Uh, let me show you one by one. So this one is the first one structure that we have used for our study is basically BCC lattice structure. The second one is uh, TPMS structure and the third one is basically the gyroidal structure. In each of these structure, we model the corrosion, uh, degradation and in the second step, we check the mechanical resonance for the uh, normal specimen and the degraded specimen. So how this all started? So let me show you for step by step. So as we all know, the corrosion is governed by the, diff the fluid diffusion. So in the first stage, we have defined the fluid diffusion using uh, for the, in the magnesium specimen. So let me show you first the the diffusion coefficients and diffusion properties for this magnesium. You can see over here the diffusion is modeled using based on fixed law, which is based on diffusion concentration. So the diffusion concentration is set as one e power minus zero eight based on the research articles, and the reference of the research article is is given in the description of this video. So uh, let me show you the diffusion coefficient that we have used. So as you can, you can see, the initial diffusion coefficient, isotopic diffusion of mg, is set as 10 power minus 8 millimeter square per second. Now, as now in the second step, as we all know that diffusion is basically the surface phenomena and diffusion, uh, sorry, diffusion or so uh, the corrosion or the degradation is basically uh, the surface phenomena so we need to select all the node that lie on the surface of this scaffold for this we made an edge uh, the we, uh, we made uh, we created the set by the name of edge and this edge is basically the set of all the nodes on the outer surface so this is the set you can see that these all surface on the outer nodes have been selected in this node in this set in the second uh, the, in the second stage we need to create an individual set of all of these nodes available in the this edge set and this is done by using a python scripting now you can see over here this is the edge set and we have created the list of nodes and list of nodes and then we need to apply the flux at all of these nodes uh, now let me explain this concept of how to calculate this flux but this flux is the based on Weibull distribution function and uh, it depends on the, the magnitude of the, uh, this flux depend on the uh, corrosion rate parameter which is basically the beta. So first of all we need to generate a random numbers which is basically reflect the random distribution of flux across all the nodes using a Weibull distribution function and then this Weibull distribution function generated random number must be multiplied with this beta which is basically the uh, corrosion rate. Now this beta parameter alongside the gamma parameters, these, those, both of these parameters depicts the corrosion rate and it controls the, uh, the degree of localization. The beta is basically the corrosion rate and gamma is basically degree of localization which is basically the formation of pit. And the values of gamma dep will, will depict whether uh, how we, uh, like, like what is the depth of each pit. This is depend on, this will in turn depend on the value of the gamma. Oh, as I told you that this this flux will be applied on on the outer nodes based on Weibull distribution function, which is which is then multiplied by the average corrosion rate to get the flux. Let me show you the finalized results. Now, this in this picture we can see that how the corrosion look like for this magnesium gyroidal structure after seven days. Now let me zoom at the specific corner section. Uh, I'll show you the results.
Now you can see over here that how the element got deleted. Now what is the uh, criteria for this element deletion? For this we need to go back to the paper. Now another thing that I have missed is we need to set initial concentration based on initial concentration uh, 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 text or initial concentration in the predefined field uh, and this must be added in a keyword before the start of simulation otherwise the result won't be right now at this after after, after running the simulation for like time equal to seven days or maybe eight or ten days whatever the time is the uh, element whose magnesium concentration is less than 0.4 c naught so initial concentration is 6.4 it's um, we need to multiply by this by 0.4 and the, those element whose element concentration is less than 0.4 must be deleted for the element and this is the final result uh, we have deleted those element on which the concentration was less than 0.4 c and this these are the results now in the second phase you can see over here the in the second phase, I need to test this uh, uh, the original specimen and the degraded specimen uh, under the uniaxial compression and will check the integrity of the structure. Now, in this video on the left side, we can see the comp uniaxial compression test for the degraded specimen, and on the right side, we see the uniaxial compression behavior of the original specimen. Uh, this comparison will give us the, the the difference in forced replacement curve for degraded specimen as well as the original specimen. This might be used as a reference in each of this uh, in each of the study. But we do the reference to check the strength, and this study must be used as a reference or can be used as a reference to study the uh, to check the mechanical resilience of the uh, the geroidal structure or any type of the uh, scaffold structure, uh, degraded structure, and the uh, original specimen. Thank you. Now, if you want to download this model or you need the files of this model, please, please visit www.arsalanmaa.com and then in the contact box, please enter your name, email and the description of the project that you are interested in. For example, for this project, please write it modeling, corrosion, slash degradation. Oh. MG scaffolds. Enter your name or email address and you can just submit it. Let's say it could be 20. That's it. And if you need the detail of all of my model, please click on this bar design and simulation project and you can check all of my project on this home page. Thank you very much.